Hello everybody, my name is Ungar, and welcome back to Entity Infestation, the horror exploration game I'm designing in Unity based on the backrooms. Now, today we have some pretty important stuff to talk about. Number one, that you can probably already notice just by looking around, there's been a ton of organization, and you can see down here, like we've got the different rooms, smiler related stuff, scripts, parts, materials, all sorts of things, along with this being, you know, a little cleaner. But yeah, along with this, you can see in the rooms, there's a few more variants. There's also room four up here. Room four is having some trouble. So uh, we're gonna be working on that, but um, not in today's video. In today's video, I want to show you something that is really, really interesting. Generation. Besides all the organization stuff, the main thing that I've been working on is actually generating the rooms, because this doesn't look like the back rooms at all. You can see there's literally nothing here except for the player and this little platform. But if we click play, it'll start generating some stuff. Now, before I press play, I don't th think there's much else to talk about, actually. If I do miss anything, I will cover it in the next video, but I think that that has literally been all I've been doing since the last update, which has been a while, is just working on this very, very annoying generation, but it works 90%. So without further ado, let's just try this out. Now what we can do is go up to this door, see this here? And we just go boop. Now you can see that the door, the first door, disappeared. And there's another door behind it. If I click the pause here, you can see immediately, let me just actually turn up the lighting, that this is the room we spawned in. This is under the little platform. And yeah, it looks exactly the same. But you can also see that the door, oh, that, that's a problem that I didn't realize. The door on different floors are disappearing. Obviously, we didn't touch that door. We touched this one. But at least this one does disappear. And it generates this. This is the exact same room. Um, it randomly chooses a room. So I'll walk into another one, and I'll try and show you that. But we're just having trouble opening this second door. Um, after we fix that, you can literally just walk through here, and then walk through here, and then just keep going forever. Um, it does get very laggy if I look at many objects at once, so I'm probably just going to be looking at the sky so that my game doesn't crash until we get to the next room. So yeah, let's just hit the unpause and just try and be very careful and not crash the game. Oh, there you go. You can see on the left, it also generated room three so if we click pause again, we can go down here, and we can see, boom, a totally different room generated. I think this is one of the new ones that I have not shown you guys yet. I'll just give you a quick tour around. Obviously, I'm not going to show you all parts of every room, because that would spoil all the rooms, and you'd have no reason to download the game and play it for yourself. And yes, I am going to be publishing this game for all of you to play. Look at this. Totally random generated rooms, or totally randomly generated rooms, whatever. Anyway, you can see that even with pause on, the game is starting to lag, and my computer is not liking it. So I'm going to hurry up, and which we went through there, I don't think we've gone through here. Boop, room two, let me just try and back into this final one, and another room two. Okay, now you can see, this is totally done. We've got four little squares around the basic one, and oh my gosh, is it laggy. Wow. You can see here's room two, totally different from the other ones. Obviously generated two room twos, but oh my, that is really laggy. And you can see where it generated them. There's the room two here and here. I think this was the room three, this is the room one, and then the start one, which is room one. You can see all these different patterns that I've made. Obviously, these all correspond here. They're not totally random, but they are random enough, and I'm just going to click
click on play so that my computer doesn't explode. Yeah, that is pretty much all I've been working on. You do not know how hard it is to make these things randomly generate, but it is very cool, very epic, that it's so close to just being the true back rooms experience. Endlessly walking through rooms, which now that I think about it, sounds kind of boring, but I've got some plans to make it less boring. Um, this probably won't come in the first release. The first release will literally be a walking simulator, but in later updates, it will become a more fleshed out, fun game and not just a walking simulator. Yeah, I think that that's literally it for the video. Organization, randomly generated rooms, which don't get me wrong, the randomly generated rooms are the probably the most key part to the game besides actually being able to play it with the player. But um, not really much different stuff to talk about, so that's this short video. Ooh, also, what I wanted to mention, um, my school has last week being this week. So yeah, after this week, no more school, which means I'll be able to post a lot more often and I'll be able to work on the game a lot more. So over the summer, expect me to be a lot more active. And yeah, that's literally the video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that stuff. Don't forget to have a good day, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!